Mono, it looks like you're doing some organic chemistry today. Hi, I'd like to go over a reaction with you today called the Somolid Hauser Rearrangement. Don't worry, it's not going to be on the data exam, but the concepts are going to be there. So I'm not asking you to memorize the, exam, the, the question, since this reaction, I guarantee, has never been done on the internet. You're not going to see even the idiots that try to plagiarize my work. Why don't you go and ask them to show you the Somolet Hauser reaction and see what happens. But the, anyway, the bottom line is, I want you to see if you can understand the concepts, the way I m move the arrows through and take a look at this reaction. Now, we're not worried about the reaction itself, but if we look at the first starting material, if I said to you on the data or the MCAT, what do you call this? Well, this is the benzylic group, right? That's benzylic. And this is a quaternary ammonium salt. So you would call this a benzylic quaternary ammonium salt. That'd be a good question. Now, what I'm going to do when this reaction is treated with sodamid in ammonia solvent, and I'm going to get this crazy product. If I ever ask you how you describe the product again, I see the benzylic. It's a benzylic and it's a tertiary amine. So what I'm basically going to do in this reaction, um, it's got a crazy name. It's not going to be in the undergraduate books. We take it up in advanced organic chemistry, but I'll make it really simple. We're going to take a benzylic quaternary ammonium salt into a benzylic tertiary amine. Look at my first move, and it's all the moves you know. I'm going to take a base, and I'm going to remove the most acidic proton. That's the benzylic proton. As you can see, this would have resonance, so we got the anion reasonably stabilized. And it turns out that that's the major. But that's not going to be a pathway that's going to be fruitful. So what I can also do is we could have removed the hydrogen, although not acidic, from the methyls. And if you did that, you would get this one. That's where the reaction pathway is going to go. Now watch the arrows, three arrows. I do an attack here. I open this up and move this out. So as you can see, I've disrupted the aromaticity indeed. But don't despair. What's going to happen is the NH2 sodamid comes in again, takes off an H. We restore the aromaticity. You move the arrow to the outside. Notice you're in base, so we don't want to see any carbocation. You show me a carbocation, I show you an F. Once we get this, we got this nice anion. We have ammonia as the solvent. We pick up an H, and therefore I finish the job. That's how you do a reaction that's feared in organic chemistry known as the Samolet Hauser rearrangement. Pretty straightforward. But the important thing for you to do, if you're looking for a 30, understand the concepts. All right, I hope this helps and you sort of were as enchanted as I am with the Samolet Hauser rearrangement. Thanks, Dr. Romano. It was very enchanting today. All right, good day to you. I'm going for a 30. Good day to you, sir.